Just checking in on you. The lovely Nia with me. Hello. What's going on? Oh, it's Christmas, Nini. I know. City sidewalks, pretty ladies, everybody walking around, <laughs> spending money on people that annoy them. Year Take round. your dick out at a Charger game. Rub it up and fucking down. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel so bad for that kid. Why? Why do you feel bad? Because I have a dick and I know how hard it is. You, you know how hard it is? No, sorry. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> he was in public. I know, but he just looked like that kind of guy. He did not have talked. Look, if he's a fucking, like, seriously, I mean, if he's fucking, like. If he can't control rubbing his dick in public. I, I have it was entrapment. They had, like, 12 entrapment? fucking scantily clad women and the whole thing. Entrapment, they, what, what? Let me ask you a question. Entra he was at a game. There's cheerleaders there. And how are they, they dressed? Oh, so it's their fault? That How they are they dressed? Like cheerleaders, the way cheerleaders are always dressed. That this Why can't you guys can't... ever be flattered when a man flashes oh, you? Oh, God. No. <laughs> That's disgusting. A fucking woman never just whipped a hoo-ha out because I look so good in a fucking t-shirt. It would just fucking <laughs> make my day. As long as she stayed away from me. I mean, he was, she was doing his own thing. You know he what's was hilarious? A fucking pervert. The way he was doing it in public. You know what I loved? The way I he had his arms laughing. crossed, he was like, well, I can't see what I'm doing. That means no one else can he had, a, he had a fucking a new technique. I never tried the overhand before. Oh, the, God. The cross, no self-control. The crossover overhand. That's like Olympic level jerking off through his pants. You know? Look, everybody, you know, you, that's how you get caught. You know? You fucking, you can't, you, he got greedy is what happened. You know what I mean? He thought he could, he, you know, he thought he could do it. <laughs> it was like fucking 20,000 people staring right at him. Idiot. Yeah, but, you know, so, okay. And, and, and look. When I'm talking about those cheerleaders, why are they out there, Nia? Why are they really out there to stir the crowd up to, to cheer, cheer more? No, they're not. To spread cheer. They dress them like fucking, like just shy of who is. <laughs> That's what they're out there for. They got their cleavage. They got their butt cheeks hanging out. Everything's barely covered. Everything's yeah. all shiny, you know, shiny. glittery. <laughs> all glittery and shit, you know? Hey, what, what, what the fuck was he supposed to do, you know? Not touch his dick in public. Hey. That's what he was supposed to hey, do. Hey, there, there before the grace of God go I. Okay? Are you really trying to say that you would be in a position where you would just be jerking off through your pants in public like that? I have to be honest with you. I've never stood next to 12 women all dressed in the same sparkly outfit, <laughs> touching their toes in front of me, wearing <laughs> uh, some very user-friendly slacks. So... <laughs> <laughs> Action slacks, maybe. Action slacks they were. Uh-huh. And if you, you know, were, you're saying you wouldn't be able to control yourself? I you, would say... You have to touch your If dick, I have to take have my, to. my life savings, if I have to take my life savings, there's no way I'm, I'm betting on black slacks. I'm not... <laughs> there's no way I'm going to put it all on one thing. I don't know what I would do. If I had a couple drinks in me, you know, who knows? Might do the no, old... Uh, no, no, who knows? No, who knows? Yeah, every guy's done that. Done what? Jerk off in public? Oh, absolutely. Now they have At not. some point, they did something. They were in their car. They rubbed one out. They did something. They were on a porch. Well, guys are always tugging on at a their plane. Really on a plane, good. they went to the bathroom and just rubbed one out. The amount of men... Ew. I'm just saying the amount of fucking men who've done it. Seriously? Hey, have Nia. you done that? Yeah, you got to understand when... Wait a minute. You, you, wait a minute. What's that? Wait a minute. What's that? Are you saying that you've gone into a plane, like a, a bathroom on a plane and jerked off? I swear no, to God. No, I have not done that. you tell me that, I... Hey, what are you going to do? I don't know. All right, I, then. I, 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 I scold me? Yeah, scold you. Shame listen, you. I know. Publicly. Listen, guys, I've the way this talked guy to other guys, shit. shit that they've done or whatever. You know, hey, we've all done stuff we're not proud of. You know, didn't Jesus say he was not fucking rubbed one out to a fucking cheerleader? <laughs> you fucking cast the cast, first. Cast you know what I hate is if, the, if that's the worst that that kid does. OK, which is basically all he did was completely humiliate himself. All right. And his life is fucking over. I mean, isn't that enough? I feel bad for him. I do. Unless he's like really a pervert and he's running around grabbing women and he's ruining people's lives. Then, yeah, then, you know, put the kid down like a rabid dog without a doubt. But if his worst fucking, you know, what I love about it is they say men can't multitask. There was a man clearly <laughs> operating as a security person <laughs> <laughs> while rubbing one out. Well, that he, is only multitasking. Had, he only had one hand free, so I don't really feel like he was at his full capacity as a security guard. Well, a lot of security is just presence, just people seeing you. Seeing you with your dick in your hand. He had his, his gun in his hand. <laughs> I feel bad for him. 
don't feel bad for him. Jesus Christ. Just hear those sleigh bells ring a ling, ting, 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 a ling, too. You're acting like he's like, you know, a homeless child. Come on and rub bad. one out, a uh, fucking cheerleader or two. <laughs> keep it rubbing, keep it rubbing while everyone watches. <laughs> oh my God. That poor bastard. What uh, is this tweet that this person is Sunday made? I don't know. Can you stay focused here? Yes, I'm focused. Can I tell you my, What's up? Can I tell you my story today? I Why went am out, I here? I went into, well, you don't have to be here. What are we watching on TV, Nia? It's the it's the Washington Capitals versus the Philadelphia. Ch uh, wait, no, I don't. Know. You said Chargers. I did. I don't the know. The Philadelphia Flyers. fucking Flyers. Flyers. This is Rivalry Wednesday. I'm That's here Wayne Simmons. I can't get up. Claude off the couch Giroux. And I have my feet up, and I'm pregnant, and I'm the size of a house. That's oh. why I'm here. No, you're not. You look like an igloo more than a house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. Asshole. Oh, it's the shootout. What do you think of the... Oh, that was a nice movie he had him, too, when he skipped off his stick. I don't like the fly. I don't like the gold numbers on that one. The fly's got such a great uniform. That kind of fucks it up a little bit. You know, somebody's got to buy it. You know, that guy who just paints his room fucking orange and white. The biggest fan ever. You know, you know, if you dedicate your whole bedroom, you know, painting it, your team colored, there's no way you can judge that kid on the Chargers because you definitely wear slacks and you rub one out in public. Oh, she just fuck you. That was a fuck you. I don't respect you as a goaltender. Did he even do a move? He just stared at him. It was like, this is going in the net, bitch. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Right there, Fred. Fuck you. That's one nothing in overtime. Oh, sorry. Two, two. All right. Here comes another flyer. He comes down. He dips. He oh, little head. Little, oh, too many fucking moves. See what he did? Claude Giroux. I, like the, I love the head fake in hockey. I mean, it works in basketball and fucking if you're a wide receiver, but as you're gliding in, it just never seems to work. Oh, he stayed home. He stayed home. All right, no one wants to listen to this shit. So anyway, so I go to Target today. You literally just had your arm over your eyes like it was the most torturous thing ever to listen to. <laughs> I'm exhausted. You know I'm fucking tired. I'm exhausted. Days. Yeah, I have friends way fatter than you, and they're doing much more stuff. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. I have a few friends that are like morbidly obese, okay, and they're more active than you are. I think you're being a little dramatic. Are they gestating life? Hmm? I don't know what gestating means. Do they have... Another oh, human up. being inside Jesus, of Jesus, that was a nice goal. Holy shit. Taking all of their food. What did he miss? Sucking all of their energy. Huh? Do they have that? Increasing their blood flow and their water retention and their exhaustion. No, but they probably have a woman in their life fucking yammering at them. That was a goal. Why didn't the guy put the fucking number up? I don't want to be a part of this podcast. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. Because I don't like your attitude right now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. How about this? You know, Nia, what you're doing right now is one of the most special things that has ever been done on the planet. Granted, most of the people on the planet will do it at some point because most people are women, you know? And guys don't like wearing rubbers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so I go to Target today. <laughs> when Jesus Christ, Wade Simmons. When you told me that earlier, I just couldn't even imagine you going into Target on your own accord. It just didn't seem like something I was you buying you a Christmas gift. From Target? Yeah, from Target. I couldn't what? fucking find what I wanted. Wait a minute. Why are you buying me a Christmas? Oh, you know what? Let me stop because I'm about to sound really... Yeah. You're going to sound like what you are. <laughs> oh, I'm an asshole. 2-2 Two is the final score. Well, wait, I'm fucking old. I can't see what, what's the uh, the overtime score. We have, to get, uh, just we have to get our eyes examined this year. I mean, 2017. We both have to go to the optometrist. Listen, I think we have enough activities together. I already went to the optometrist. Activities together. Yeah. It's not an activity together. And I, also, I already got, I got fucking, for when I fly, I got glasses so I can see the radio channels. I gla glasses? I glanced down. I got, the, I got the half moon things where like, I'm regular. Where? I'm a freak. I'm regular. I'm a freak. Bi bi bifocal? Yeah, I don't know what they are. Hmm. Yeah, they're fucking great. I've never seen you in these glasses. It's because you won't fly with me, you Come baby. fly with me. I'll yeah. take you over the ocean. I did fly with you. And we'll see some people sitting on some surfboards as they wait for a fucking wave. When you fly with me, I did fly I'll with you. fly Do you, you over the Santa Monica Pier. I did a whole Snapchat story of it. Yeah, but you won't go unless I'm with an instructor. Of course. Well, all right then. All that does is motivate me. Because you're a comedian. You're not a pilot. You're a comedian. That's like saying I'm, I'm a comedian. I don't have a license to drive a car. No, it isn't. 
What do you mean? It's the same thing. I'm not a professional driver. I don't drive at the Indy 500. I don't fly for American Airlines. You get me in a Robinson 22 with the old 44 there, I'll take you for a fucking ride. Hmm. Legally. Okay. I don't know if I have enough hours for the 44, but the 22, the two-seater. Yeah, I'll, like I said, you can try this fucking woman thing that you guys all what do. What woman thing? That fucking what thing, woman that thing? That yanking on the fucking range that you guys all do. Anytime you see a guy doing something new, you got to have that, hmm, well, he thinks he's, hmm. But he's, you're always shitting on our fucking hobbies. It's, it's what you guys do. I would love for you to get a hobby. Excuse me. You know what I'm going to get you? I'm going to get you a, f- listen to your, me when no, I speak. No, I am the man in this no, relationship. Oh, no. I'm going to get you a, a wood whittling kit. I'm not shitting on your hobbies. I'm just saying, like, I would feel more secure if there is a person there who is a professional flying with us. Fair Why enough. Why is that so bad? It isn't. It's fair enough. But there's, a, there's also part of it that it, it, it motivates me. It motivates me. That's all. Okay. Well. All right. See that? Okay. Well, what is that? What do you want me to do, Bill? What do you, what want, you want from me? me? <laughs> you always say that. What do you want from me? Hey, what do you want from me? You know, I'm going to get you a little wood whittling kit. I'm going to get you a fucking hobby. You know what? You know. You know. My hobby is dealing with you. You know what? Oh snap! When we return, <laughs> Nia, with more fucking snappy answers. Just tell your target story. Uh, no, I'm gonna find you a hobby. What about? What about? Uh, what's that thing that happened? I have in, hobbies. In Ghost, you know. Oh God. I <laughs> had the time of my life. I. You, I can't. When Patrick Swayze <laughs> sat on Whoopi, oh I that is made not a pot plant. Movie at all. Well, I'll get it. I'll You're get it. Confusing movies. You're confusing right. Patrick Swayze. Movies. No, no, no. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it. It's this one of those. It's one of those film. fucking. It's one of those movies. It's one of those stupid film. fucking songs. It's one of those songs. <laughs> Is it Woman in Red? You're talking Lady about Lady in Red. You're talking about one She's movie. She's making pots with me while singing the soundtrack to another Patrick Swayze movie. You've got your two Patrick Swayze movies. Hey, yeah, how many fucking movies are there? That's still pretty good. I'm in the ballpark. Patrick Swayze made a lot of movies. Um, You're talking about when those? the night. No. Has come. No, he wasn't. And in there's st- a body by the train he tracks. He wasn't in Stand By Me. Was he in Stand By Me? And Yeah, he played one of the mean guys with Kiefer Sullivan. Hey, you little shits. Hey, don't what? fucking talk about the dead body or I'll cut your dead ear off, you fucking freak. <laughs> hey, I'm fat. Now I'm married to his model. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> this is you describing Stand Everybody By Me. Everybody in it. Me. I Jer- thought it was Leonardo Jerry DiCaprio, <laughs> but it's uh, uh, River Phoenix. And that one's too sad, so I'm not yeah. going to do that one. And then the other guy, hey, I'm going to fucking... Uh, You're talking about Jerry O'Connell. Then there's the other dude, right, who does the Thriller dance still, right? <laughs> it's fucking 2016. I'm still doing the stupid fucking dance. I feel like you're talking about Corey Feldman, and yep. he was not in Stand By Me. Yeah, he was. Was he? Are you sure? Yeah, he was. He was the dude with the fucked up ear who wanted to fight with the glasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I liked him. Hmm. So there anyway, you go. Originally, you were talking about ghosts, and then you started singing a song from Dirty Dancing. Don't tell me, because I'm going to get it. I'll get it by the end of the podcast. <laughs> um, you know one of my goals in 2017? I'm going to get a fake ID. I'm going to get a fake ID. For all those fucking times, you know, you, I'm on the road, and I want to use a gym, and they go, can we need an ID? And they want to take a fucking copy of my license. You know having a fake ID is illegal, right? I'm going with, my name's going to be Frank Fallujah. <laughs> <laughs> I like alliteration. Bill Burr, Frank Fallujah. Right, Teddy Pendergrass. All right, what? so I go into um, I go into Target, right, to buy you a gift that evidently you, you, you're a, <laughs> above. I was going to get you a flannel right next to the bicycles. <laughs> Target's so fucked up. It's like, what do you guys want to be? I don't like Target. They're like that person who just morphs themselves into what they you they think you want them to be, so they can be friends with you. It's just like pick a fucking angle. It's like you're walking, you know, you're looking at TVs and they're next to cereal. It's like, what the fuck? This is like, this is like a fucking yard sale, but everything's new. Um, all right, so I go into Target and I'm looking for your fucking shit. And every, you know what's funny about Target is everybody looks like they work there. So you got to ask like nine fucking people. Hey, do you work here? They get all offended. Well, you look like you do. Don't buy the clothes here, you asshole. If they're wearing a red shirt, they work at Target. Yeah, but there's different levels. It's like the military. There's different kinds of red shirts. There's the people with the P. Carroll dockers and then the red shirt tucked in. They're like management. Then there's the grumpy, filthy people who got to like fucking unload the trucks all day and they never let them go home. They're not going to answer shit. 
And then there's sort of dumpy women walking around like, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. It's like they took a pot cookie. And every once in a while, you meet that one that's on the ball who's not going to be there long. Score! Oh, I thought that was new. Sorry, that's a highlight. <laughs> that was a nice fucking wraparound goal. Oh, you got to love the wraparound. Oh, he saved it. He didn't save that fucking thing, did he? That's a goal. That's a goal. I have to reveal the fucking play stands. So like, as I'm leaving, I bought you a high-end gift there at Target, right? <laughs> I bought you a floral apron <laughs> with a frozen burrito in the pocket. And... Um, <laughs> I got to keep it in the freezer until right before. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Except for this bald, freckled fuck taking a frozen burrito out, sticking it in the stocking. By the way, underrated stockings. Stockings, I don't know about you guys. Like, I don't know, some people, like, they start with the stockings. Other people, we always end on the stocking. And the stocking's always like the bum, 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 bam. Like, you already got your cool gift. Then you go over to the stocking, and it's like, a, it's like a, you know, a gift certificate to a book club. <laughs> And you got to sit there acting like, oh, yeah, thank you. I get to read. Awesome. What else is in here? Oh, new socks. I mean, I mean who could use new socks? Are these gold toe? Oh, you shouldn't have. Literally. I, I would rather wear one stocking walking down the street than a pair of gold-toed socks just because of what they represent. There's a lot of blood and shame on all those gold-toed socks, you know? Do you know how many hookers have laid on motel rooms and the last thing that they saw <laughs> was somebody's bloody gold-toed sock walking towards them? <laughs> so bad. Oh so bad during the holiday season. Silver bells. If you don't Leaving your you. family. Going to get a hooker while the goose cools. <laughs> Double life. Serial killer. Cops show up one day and you confess to 40 other killings. And your wife says, who the fuck are you? What did I do with the last three decades? And you stare at her with no feeling behind your eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really got you going this one, man, Nene. You're, you're egging me on here. I like your dark holiday carol. Because <laughs> I hate that song. I hate Silver Bells. It just goes on. For, it's like, is this song on a fucking loop? There's no way this is one song. Huh? Did fucking Fish record this fucking thing? It's like 20 minutes long. Um, Silver Bells, and I hate Jingle Bell Rock. It's just such an attempt of, like, white people trying to be hip, you know? <laughs> We're going to jazz this one up. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Hey! Jingle Bell <laughs> It's that thing where you're kind of just shaking your head and your ass at the same time, you know, as you're snapping your fingers with your fucking loafers. That's when somebody, you know, if you're at a party and there's a piano and somebody knows how to play, they're going to sing that at the holidays, you know? Dude, dude, oh, yeah. And then there's going to be the undersexed fucking 20 year old, 20 like years married chick with the red wine teeth. I will start dancing. And it's like, all right, all right, come on, let's get her out of here. Get her coat. Get her coat. <laughs> Send her home. I just don't know why they stay together. Um, so I'm leaving Target. I'm leaving Target, and uh, this guy looks fucking confused. He's getting interviewed here, huh? Um, so I'm leaving Target, and as I'm walking out, all of a sudden I just hear this guy going, Get off me! Get off me! And I look over, and there's two Target ladies. They're at the Pete Carroll level of the Target thing, and a, and a, and a Target guy. Two women and a guy are just fucking grabbing this dude and they're dragging him into like this windowless office. And the guy's going, this isn't legal, this isn't legal. And they just dragging him in and everybody's just watching like, what the fuck? And then like the door starts to close and then it opens again, and it fucking closes again. And then, and then, and then they finally got him to calm down and they closed the door and this older manager just closed the door and he did that, you know that smile you do when you walk by a stranger cause you're hoping they don't have an ax. You know that little purse lip where you kind of do the you lift your eyebrows up. He kind of did that. Like, well, that's the end of that. And it's like, that's an American citizen in there, sir. What the fuck just happened? But nobody said anything because it's Target. You just don't expect it. So I said to the lady next to me, I go, did he steal something? She goes, no, I don't think so. And then somebody else goes, I think he's autistic and he was acting a little weird. <laughs> so they just dragged him into yeah. the, well, I mean, the back room? Yeah, I don't think that that's... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. 
doesn't make sense, but why I feel... Why wouldn't they call the police? Like, why would they take it upon themselves to drag him away? Why wouldn't they call the police? Or something? I know. It looked like that Scientology show that you're watching, that the stuff that they do to people, except it was at Target, you know? <laughs> I wonder if one of those people are going to do a t- TV show exposing Target and what, <laughs> what really goes on there. They probably wanted him to work all three ships on Christmas. And he said no. <laughs> they just dragged him in there. They don't fuck around at Target. I guess not. Are you fucking kidding me? Did that guy just score from the other side of the... I'm just watching the highlights. It's pathetic. And that was it. And that was the end of... Uh, and then I just sort of walked out... Uh, I have to admit. 20 rolls of paper towels. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas, Nia. <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of big tears next year. Big tears, big tears. Big tears, big tears. Um, so anyways, I should probably read some advertising here. I'm ex- Oh, this is fucking, what a great night. We got the fire going. Mm-hmm. Oh, tell them how much I like eggnog. A lot of people don't like eggnog. I like. You love eggnog. I love I eggnog. I love eggnog now, too. Well, eggnog, what it is. I is, was always shy about it because I was like, eh, I don't know if it's my thing, but it's delicious. Yeah, but people pour you a giant fucking glass of it. It's, it's like an, it's a, uh, like a, uh, what are they, not an aphrodisiac. What do they say? What's that shit you drink in Italy after you, after you. Aperitif? Yeah, that's what it is. It's, but with sugar. Or digestive. That's a, yeah, digestive. You have a big meal. You, you sip on a little eggnog. It uh, tastes like melted ice cream. And I like it. Way to hold up the podcast while I type in my fucking podcast. It tastes like melted, melted ice cream. And I like it. I'm exhausted. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a good guest tonight. I'm sorry. Look how I spelled stalking. That looked right to me. Now when I look back at it, I look like the dumbest person ever. S-T-O-L-K-I-N-G. <laughs> Stalking stuffers. Underrated. Let's see. I, I wrote some ideas. Silver bells. Kid jerking off. Christmas break. Stokel stuffers. Underrated. Oh, yo, this is the one I wanted to talk about. When I was, I went into Best Buy afterwards. Oh, I was hitting all the corporations. And I'm standing in line, this pathetic line of fucking <laughs> people just waiting to the last minute to shop. We're all fucking hating life. And I'm, you know, and you're going through like the Disney World line where you got to mm-hmm. fucking go all the way back and forth, back and forth. So I'm standing, I'm finally on the last rung. And this guy walks up to stand in line behind 18 people. You know what his t shirt said? What? Do epic shit. <laughs> first of all what kind of a fucking adult wears that stupid fucking t-shirt why would you wear it going to to stand in line at best buy right i that's a new fucking thing where people try to motivate people with their workout videos and shit it's like you know like they're doing it for you Like, what am I supposed to when I see that guy with that T-shirt? Like, wow, that guy's doing epic shit. He's standing in line at Best Buy. No, he's taking a break. He just, he was doing that point break shit earlier out in Santa Monica. Like, he got <laughs> helicoptered out to some sort of fucking uh, burning man out in the ocean, whatever they do, when they know big waves coming, you know? Everybody else runs for cover. They go, we got to go right out at it, man. It's another Patrick Swayze movie. Yes, it is. I saw the remake of it. I enjoyed it. You know? Oh, yeah. Was it about surfing? It's not about anything. It's like Fast and Furious. It's, it's just about fucking... Fast and Furious is about the cars. Uh, Point Break is about, you know, the stuntman and everybody doing, you know, in the flying squirrel suits and, and riding waves and shit. Mm-hmm. That's all it's about, you know? Yeah, I've never seen that movie. Ever. Possibly hot women with mysterious attitudes <laughs> who can't walk a straight line without crossing one foot in front of the other. They're always in some rainy alley. <laughs> Possibly hot women yeah. with mysterious attitudes. Yeah, they always fuck <laughs> under these fire escapes and shit. <laughs> it's, it's the same for Jizz Alley, whatever that is. It's in like oh, in every. God. It's in every fucking movie. Jizz Alley. I had the time of my life. No. When I fucked you next to this fucking dumpster. <laughs> oh, I saw a rat <laughs> when you bend me over. No. Um. Yeah. They fuck in the same alley where that dude from Brothers got, got his throat cut in uh, that fucking, that movie where the guy who's always screaming goes, everyone! No, not everyone. He goes, uh, let's go! Remember that? To Sean Penn? No. The guy who plays uh, Commissioner Gordon, Gary Oldman? Okay. He was in a, it was based on... Uh, Are you talking about The Professional? It was, that's when he goes, no, everyone! No, that's not that one. Oh. I fucked up. It's the one that was, it was based on that book, The Westies. I don't know. Uh, it was, Ed Harris was fucking great in it. And uh, this was before that dude did fucking Boogie Nights. He's on, he's on um, 
He's on uh, uh, Adult Swim. He's in like in every fucking movie. He played Chess Roswell. Bro- John C. Riley. John C. Riley. When he gets his throat slit, Jesus Christ, so long, long fucking way to go. That's the same fucking alley where all those women get fucked in all those those movies. You know. Okay. All right, what, is, what is this song when they make the make the pot? <laughs> <laughs> Unchained melody. Whoa, my love. Oh, they play that song while they're making a pot. No wonder I never fucking could get through that movie. <laughs> my not, darling. They're not making a pot. Oh, I just felt your head going down on my shoulder while the movie's on. Just, ugh, I hate when women do that. I always hated when I was on a date and you deliberately took them to some fucking schmaltzy shit because you knew they wanted to see it. And then there comes that stupid fucking moment in the movie. Whatever. What's the song? The song go. It's like sing, Melody. Just sing the song while I tell you what. All right, and then you feel her stupid head starts going under your shoulder. And, you know, you're kind of excited because she's becoming intimate, but there's another part of you that just wants to fucking do what Ty Domi did to Alf Samuelson when they were standing in front of the net. All right, that's it. I can't say it. Slowly, we're making a fucking pot. <laughs> Don't tip it over. <clears throat> I knew it was one of those things. Wasn't Will Ferrell's father in that band? In what band? The Righteous Brothers. Is that the Righteous Brothers? Yes. Are the Righteous Brothers white? Yes. Oh yes. Jesus Christ! Okay, I didn't know that. All right, the white, the white, the white, <laughs> the righteous brothers are white. I didn't realize that. All right, I need to read. I need to read some. Uh, let's read some advertising while I.